Why is it that she has so many likes and retweets to this thing? That's what I'm baffled about. This is not okay. Because as far as I understand, she's being taken seriously. Now, I don't know why she's being taken seriously. Perhaps because people are in a lockdown and they're bored. Because we live in this bloody culture that thinks that men are the cancer of the world and women are the angels that bring life on earth. Okay, so she starts one day ago with this tweet. Grooming, pedophilia, Carson situation. I can personally come out and say that I've been groomed by Carson. I have talked to many people and never came out about this since now. At the time, I was still 17 and in high school. I jokingly tweeted Carson be my boyfriend on my old account. He didn't reply to the tweet and went straight to my DMs. I don't have all screenshots, but I have Discord messages. Continue. So, as far as I see, she started with the teasing, I would like you to be my boyfriend stuff. I want to highlight that because at one point I think she is contradicting herself. I'm scared. I want to talk to you for the wrong reasons. Elaborate. What if I only want to talk to you for the sexual part of it? I don't want that, but like, I'm worried about it. What if subconsciously I'm only talking to you because he's turned me on or, or something? So, so far he's being honest and what I notice in these messages, he's being honest all along. Is that really what you want? What other options are there? Also, what would you want to happen? First, he was scared about the fact that he is interested about her only sexually, perhaps. And he's asking her, is this what you really want? And she's asking, sign that she's interested, what other options are there? So, she's definitely interested because when you're not interested, you say no. Also, what would you want to happen? I don't know. All I know is every time I jack off now, I have a really hard time not thinking of you. I guess my brain got stimulating and now he wants more, you know. Sorry was in school, but yeah, I get that. This proved to me that she wasn't really estranged by the way young men relate sexually to other young women. She's definitely getting it. Uh, what if we read on snap and next time you're horny we have some fun again. I just don't want that to be the only thing we do, ya you know? Yeah, but f you're hard to resist. So are you. I feel like this is all my fault. Damn. Well, I think you know something and perhaps back then it wasn't your fault that this was happening but I believe that what's happening now it's definitely your responsibility so like I said she proves again that she is interested but she doesn't want only that thing which is kind of understandable you know from a woman's perspective you don't want to believe that you're only seeing as a sex object and that's it even though this is the culture we have created if anything it's my fault because i can't control myself i i don't think you can control that yes you can control your actions but you can't control the fact that you're feeling horny i want to but it's a bad idea i'm willing to try but it's such a bad idea, but so is sexing you. He's definitely aware of his urges. He knows that he's interested only in a sexual way with this girl. He was concerned that he would get her hopes up or something. So he was aware of that. And what I really appreciate about this guy is that he was honest all along. She said that she was being groomed and <laughs> this is really funny more messages we should add back on snap what do you think sounds good to me but like i said i don't want it to be just sexual you know i wouldn't mind calling and watching shit together or play something you feel so again she's being honest in this regards she said look i'm not up to only having sex and then that's it we don't know each other and he says, yeah, I feel you. Just hit me up next time when you're horny. I'll leave it up to you 
for when we do sexual stuff. There you go. So he said it's at her choice. Whenever she's feeling up to it, whenever she will feel ready, this is going to be up to her. Whenever, you know, whenever she feels safe or whatever she needs to, then they can have sex. Then she also has the screen recording of her Discord. So she proves that this is not a lie. So let's take a look at this as well. So good night, this was fun. Yes, yes, have a good one night. Man, it's been so hard not messaging you. Hope all is well. It's been hard not messaging you as well. I'm doing a lot better. Hope you're feeling good too. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's been really fucking hard to not message you. Why is that? You're just really enjoyable to talk to and you're cute and that makes it even better. I appreciate that, but like, we can't, right? I don't know, can we? I'm scared, I want to talk to you for the wrong reasons. Oh, there you go, and then this is what I just read. So when he said he's, what if subconsciously I'm only talking to you because he turns me on or something, she says you might, you might just be overthinking it maybe. If she was concerned about being taken advantage of, I'm not sure why she was not appreciating the fact that the guy was overthinking how she said and actually letting her know that she's overthinking the fact that this might be a bad idea and he says yeah but if i'm not then i'll hurt you and i don't want to hurt you more than i already have the thing is i still really want to talk to you and honestly it's worth it for me even if i still get hurt wow so this this is really contradicting because she already said that she's being hurt and to me this proves that she's already taken the responsibility of the fact that she doesn't care if this is a bad idea or if she's gonna get hurt she still finds it exciting i would argue based only on this comment that she shouldn't be taken seriously and I don't understand why her tweets got so viral and now this guy is being seen as a pedophile. He says, how? It just is. You're also 17 and that gives me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know, I guess we just stick to the plan. My feeling on this are a mess, so are mine. My brain keeps telling me I should stop talking to girls, period, full stop, but here I am. My brain is at the point of knowing this is wrong, but I really don't want to stop. There you go, she was also aware that this is a bad idea and the problem is that we do know and deep down every one of us knows when we're doing the wrong things and the cheeky things and we do know that. So again, she proves she had another opportunity to finish this and knowingly that this is going to go wrong for her, she kept doing it and she didn't want to stop. What makes you want it so badly, he asks, because you're an actual wholesome person that is enjoyable to talk to without me having to keep my emotions hidden, hmm, he says, thinking hard right now. Well, we could just talk, no dating, no sexting, you just, you can just message me and chat whenever. So it seems that he wasn't quite on planning to groom her or hurt her. He did show her that, look, we can be just friends. And she says, that would be fine with me. We can just see what happens with us in the future, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I want a girlfriend, but I'm also scared about having a girlfriend. You're also 17 and a little bit more on the unstable side. Which is why I think it would be good for you to have someone who can build you up. And then I also don't hurt you in any way. Do you agree? Right. So he was assuming if I'm understanding correctly, that perhaps she was a virgin and he didn't, he wasn't up to have any serious relationships with her. So he didn't want to hurt her. He didn't want to take that off away from her. And like he said, you need someone to build you up. So I assume you need, you know, like he was honest about it, that you're going to need a boyfriend. You're going to need someone that will stick around with you and invest in being with you. I'm just turned on which we already know that from the beginning. And he says, do you agree? And she said, yeah, but my mind is just saying, F it. Exactly. 
Fuck what? I don't know. My mind is just everywhere right now. Yes, because you're horny as much as he is. I'm curious. In your head, where do you see this going? I don't even know, she says. My mind is all over the place right now. Should we just stick with a plan? Not talk for a, for a year? Maybe meet at PAX? Is that what you think is best? I think so. Also, your hair... Also, your haircut looks really good. Goodness, Lord. Women, you're welcome. I think we should stick to that plan. Sound like a plan? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Every time I go at it, I just want to give it in again. You got me fucked up. I'm sorry. You got me too. It's a mutual thing. Um, what if we read on Snap and next time you're horny, we have some fun again? This proves that they already have some sort of fun online. I just don't want that to be the only thing we do. Uh, yeah, we already read that, so... Back to, I feel this is all my fault. They both think this, this is their fault and... Because I can't control myself. And she said, neither can I. That's why I sent it in the first place. So, this is really tricky because when I started to read the screenshots of the tweets she posted, she posted what she wanted and making him look bad but now that i'm reading the whole discussion this is really cheeky because you can see how she's contradicting herself over and over again and she says she can't control herself either that's why i sent it in the first place so this proves to me they had some fun with videos or whatever the heck they did and then she sent it to him on snapchat yes and it was amazing i'm not gonna act like i didn't want that i wanted it too i don't regret it i wonder what made her regret now since she started all this melodrama on the internet man i want more now i just don't know what's going on between us right now yeah it's weird it doesn't help that i'm a fucking plague and don't know how to stop we, we both say one thing and do the fucking opposite well that's truth you got that that's bang on it's all so sexually charged, I can't help it. You're just such a turn on for me. We are both in the same boat, man. Yes, so how is it that now she's in a different boat from him and now she's in a victim boat? I wonder what made her change her mind. We should, and back on Snap, what do you think? Sounds good to me, but like I said, I don't want it to be just sexual, you know? I wouldn't mind calling, we read all that. I will, but I've been falling asleep mad early lately, so maybe we can call tonight and just talk. What about? Whatever, keep getting to know each other, maybe. Fucking hell, I want to, but it's a bad idea. Exactly, so they are. Uh, I wish I, I read this first to begin with, because that's really confusing what she did with the screenshots. So this proves again, seeing the whole context here, he just don't, doesn't want to just call and have chats and stuff because he knows how girls react to that. That's going to mean more attachment. And he knows that that's a bad idea because he knows that he doesn't want to be her boyfriend. And she says, I mean, we could just try. Yeah, sure. Even just as friends or whatever, watch a movie or some shit. Yeah, I have a busy day today, but I should be able to. All right, sounds good, but let me know. I'll be on my computer tonight. So anyway, I'm just going to link in the description below. If you want to look at this, you should look at the screen recording of her phone because like I said, she confused me and I confused you by reading the screenshots she took of this conversation, which are making him look bad, but it's actually she's contradicting herself. To anyone who experienced this, I'm hurting so much, so much for all of you. No one deserves this. I'm here to talk. Thank you all. Sam. What made you change your mind? Why is it that you were on the same boat with him and now suddenly you're making accusation that he's a pedophile and he was grooming you? That's really bad. That's so bad to make such assumption and to make such accusation to someone that was 19 and now he's 21 or whatever and you're 20 or 19 yourself. And she posted, she posted, funny enough, the screenshot of the meaning of the word grooming. The action of a pedophile of preparing a child for a meeting, especially via an internet chat room, with the intention of committing a sexual offense. <sighs> this is f***ing frustrating.
He's he's not the one that in, insisted to meet and watch stuff. You know, as far as I can see, written down, black and white, or, or whatever, white on black, because you have dark theme on, is that you wanted to meet to watch stuff and whatever. 20 hours ago, after watching Kim's new video, I realized I was in the wrong for calling Carson a pedophile. I used the word in the wrong context and would like to apologize. I'm sorry if I offended or hurt anyone by using the word incorrectly. I'm gonna have to watch that video. This still do doesn't justify his actions though. I deeply apologize. Okay, this is, this is a lot of uh, content to comment on. So what I did, I haven't listened to any of the other YouTubers. I just knew this happened and I haven't quite listened to anyone yet because I wanted to express my thoughts without being spoiled by other people's opinion. And I, I didn't even read all this at home. Why I also got confused and I started wrongly with reading the screenshots she uploaded, which is the wrong way around because like we saw, she doesn't quite show the whole context and I'm glad she recorded a short video of her screen to show that this was a chat on her Discord account. So she proves that this is not photoshopped and she hasn't lied about it. And I suggest you, if you go on Twitter, please go check the video because like I said, she is really cheeky and she's put the screenshots. So she'll make him look bad and this is what this is all about now silly things happen on the internet and i bet people that have fans they get all sorts of messages from fans i bet that any fan would love to be the girlfriend or the boyfriend of their idol let's say or the person they look up to i'm sorry i, I got a bit cold <laughs> but um what I, what it baffles me, it's not the stupidity of this thing, but why is it that she has so many likes and retweets to this thing? That's what I'm baffled about. This is not okay. Because as far as I understand, she's being taken seriously. Now, I don't know why she's being taken seriously. Perhaps because people are in a lockdown and they're bored. So they just... Uh, I don't know. It's because we live in this bloody culture that thinks that men are the cancer of the world and women are the angels that bring life on earth. Which is fucking stupid and it's pissing me off. <laughs> It's outrageous. I can't stand this. This is really serious because we're giving too much voice to some immature people that have access to the internet. Can't have in 24 hours accusing someone of being a pedophile and of grooming you when you were a teenager and then try and apologize and get yourself out of the responsibility that you are wrong and you're sorry if you hurt anyone. This proves so much immaturity. Like I said, I'm gonna keep looking on this and see what other people have said and hopefully this guy is not gonna have his life ruined after this stupid thing because I swear I'm gonna start a petition for this guy. It's not outrageous that she did this, it's outrageous how many people agree with her and how much power she's being given. Anyway YouTube, this was my take on this and I'm gonna investigate more to see what's gonna happen with this and how this is gonna come out. I hope he doesn't end up in trouble. I hope this is just a silly gossip and I hope people are not gonna give up on him because of this silly collection of tweets. Until next time, thank you so much for being here and having the patience to listen to me. And yep, hope to see you soon. See ya. This guy looked at me. Maybe I should tweet about that. He wants to groom me. And maybe I should say that I might be harassed when I go home now. God damn it.